Mmm, what's that disorder that's kind of like nymphomania, but not... It starts with an H. Hy hysteria. When people hear the word hysteria, they often think of a woman that needs to have sex. Which is kind of like nymphomania, right? Wrong. Actually, they're very different. Hysteria is a personality disorder, which makes their victims unable to control their emotions and thought processes, and makes them act out in strange ways. Sex can be considered as a strange way. How do we know when someone has hysteria? What hysteria, or in its full term, histrionic personality disorder does, is it makes a person like to act out. They try to make themselves the center of attention, they're constantly seeking attention, and they exceed the definition of extra, as if they're performing in some dramatic soap opera or on Broadway. Because of their over-the-top behavior, they seem really insincere and fake. And when they're around the opposite sex, it looks like they're being very flirtatious and trying to seduce them. So, for people who don't know about hysteria, it's easy to assume that the victims are promiscuous and are always ready to jump into bed with anyone at any time. But really, that's not the case. The reason they behave this way is actually because they are very childish. They need attention so they act out in every possible way to get it. When they're not getting attention, they feel uncomfortable and it negatively affects their self-esteem and their confidence. In the worst cases, they may even resort to threats, just so that they can somehow receive attention. And that's when it can get dangerous. What is the cause of hysteria? As with many mental disorders, there can be a variety of causes. Intense stress or anxiety being a large one, but another cause for hysteria could be some kind of emotional trauma. Emotional trauma, as in maybe at one very low point in their lives, they may have really needed some love and attention, but instead of receiving it, they were overlooked and ignored. This experience left such a negative impression deeply rooted inside them that it pushed them to be constantly searching for it. But what they want is just love and attention. It's not sex. And that's how hysteria is different from nymphomania. So how do we treat hysteria? Well, hysteria is quite difficult to treat. Because most people that have it, they either don't know that they have it, or they don't admit to having it. There's nothing wrong with me. Why do I have to go to the doctor? So, in order to get them to the doctor, either someone they love or family members have to be there to encourage them, to help them find a solution to their attention-seeking and overly dramatic ways. Generally, psychiatrists will treat hysteria with 1. Deep psychotherapy, 2. Individual therapy, and 3. Group therapy. Just remember that people who have hysteria will almost never see that they have it. Even if they think that they won't hurt anyone, it's still not safe for them. Because unfortunately, there are people in this world that would take advantage of them, even knowing that they have it. So getting treatment isn't to protect others, it's really to protect them.